Today I wanted to do a walkthrough on how to use the calibration function on the YSI Pro Quattro multi-parameter instrument. This particular cable has the Quattro cable with the uh, four sensors. This one has the conductivity slash temp, has a dissolved oxygen sensor, and then it has a um, ORP sensor and a pH sensor. And some of the things that you're going to need for calibration will be the calibration cup for the um, ISC sensors. And then you're going to be using the calibration sleeve that has a sponge in it for calibrating DO in the 100% um, humid environment. Also, it's very handy to have to download the Professional Plus calibration tips. That's gonna be extremely helpful when you're um, trying to uh, do the, the calibration along with the owner's manual that can both be downloaded from the YSI.com and just go find your particular meter. And this was under the tip tab. So outside of that, you're gonna need calibration solutions for what we have on this cable, we're going to use, like I said, we're going to use the um, moisture environment for the, the DO, conductivity standard for the conductivity, pH buffers for pH, and Zobel solution for doing the ORP along with the instruction manual. And I'm not going to do a calibration, but I want to walk through the basic elements that is involved. And so the first thing that we're going to want to do is press the Cal button. And I'm going to walk through each of the parameters. So right now we have DO highlighted. If you were calibrating DO, you would actually put your sensor into the calibration sleeve with that damp sponge let that equilibrate probably five minutes or so. And then we're gonna highlight and enter DO. And uh, my button went kind of fast there. Let me do this over again, hit calibration, click on DO. And for what we're doing, we're always gonna calibrate in the DO percent. And then you would just hit the, the enter button and as in all the parameters, you want to make sure that that everything is stabilized before you hit the accept uh, calibration, even though it has an auto read feature. And so at this point, you would just hit the accept calibration. And I may not get a good calibration from this because it hasn't set there, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it, accept calibration and calibration successful. So at that, that point, um, it goes back to the, the calibrate screen. So if we were doing the next parameter on our probe is connectivity. I'm gonna go down to connectivity, again, hit enter. And for what we're doing, we're gonna use specific conductance. We don't have to worry about a temperature at that point. And we would pour our conductivity standard which in our um, situation, we're going to use um, 1000 and we're going to uh, calibrate in specific conductance. And we're going to use the first one, Ultra, that matches our, our, our bottle. And then we would actually have this soaking into our, our conductivity standard. And we would want to make sure that that it goes above this port here. So we want to make sure that whatever calibration chamber that, that, that we use, it's going to be able to be um, higher than uh, this port uh, for your conductivity. And, and then, then what you would do is make sure that your calibration value, which is top, that it's going to match. And so if the, if the meter doesn't automatically recognize it, you want to toggle up 
and enter 1000 just as it shows on your, your your bottle and you want to let it stabilize and then you can hit the accept calibration and i'm going to hit the escape because we're not going to calibrate so i'm going to hit the escape button and then go to our next um, option for calibrating ph so we're going to go down to ph hit enter and this is the um calibration screen for pH. If you can see that, it says ready for Cal point one. And so we would use our uh, clean uh, calibration vessel and we would start with pH seven and we would, uh, in this particular case, we would fill it up about halfway or so because we wanna make sure it gets above uh, your, your sensor. We would let that sit there till it stabilizes, and then we would make sure that the calibration value matches. So if, if it doesn't, we're going to toggle up to where it says calibration value, and we're going to enter what's on the bottle, in this case, 7.00. And then we would come back down and hit accept calibration. And then it's going to say ready for point two. So we would go through our um, n normal uh, process and um, switching out our solutions, making sure it's clean, it's rinsed with, with, with DI water, and then we're gonna do the same uh, procedure for the second cal point, and if you wanna do a third, you would uh, re repeat that for a third. And it's always helpful just to begin, especially with YSI, to begin with pH seven. So I'm gonna escape out of here and we're gonna go to our last parameter that we're gonna calibrate. And for ORP, we're gonna use a Zobel solution, YSI Zobel solution. It comes as a powder, you initialize, this is particular size is 125 milliliters. So I fill it up to the bottom of the neck and lightly shook it and um, let the powder dissolve, um, ha have it mixed up here. But the other thing that you're gonna need is it comes with a calibration sheet. And I wanted to explain that. And you can kind of see it has a spreadsheet here based on temperature. Temperature is extremely important. Only minor thing is it goes in five degree increments and you may want to be a little bit more precise to check your calibration value. And so each degree between um, in the brackets is 1.47 millivolts. So you can do the math to make sure that the accepted calibration value when we go to ORP and it'll come up with a calibration value based on what your solution is and you can use that sheet just to to tweak that it if you have to and and it says uh, ready for cal point so we would do the same thing we would make sure we have a clean uh, a calibration container and then we would um, set the probe in, making sure that the solution um, is, ab is about halfway up and let it um, equilibrate and then go ahead and toggle down to a set calibration, just, just making sure that you have a good calibration value that matches your, your sheet. And the other thing that you would probably want to do is in your manual, you'll have a calibration worksheet. So I suggest you print that out and when you're all done, you'll be able to go and check your, your calibration values. And so in the Pro Quattro here, I just hit the file button and we're gonna go down to view calibration records and hit the enter. And so we can go look at our results from each of our last calibrations that we just did and we can continue to fill in that calibration worksheet. As an example here, we're gonna look at our last conductivity. It has the date, 
and it um, has um, one of the things that you will want to write down on your calibration worksheet for conductivity is the cell constant and our last one here was 5.011 you write that down make sure that is in spec and so hopefully that this helps you um, understand the calibration process and if you combine this with those calibration tips and your manual um, you shouldn't have a too hard of a time being able to get um, a calibration.